Edvotech Instructional Videos presents Pre-Lab Preparations for Exploring Biotechnology with a Green Fluorescent Protein Preparation for Module 1, Transformation of E. coli with GFP For this prep, you will need supercoiled PGFP plasmid, recovery broth, and calcium chloride. Each group will need crushed ice or an ice water bath, LB auger plates, sterile one mil pipettes, inoculating loops, and one microcentrifuge tube. Step one, equilibrate two water baths, one at 37 degrees Celsius and the other at 42 degrees Celsius. Set the incubation oven at 37 degrees Celsius. Step two, prepare ice or ice water baths for each group. Small ice cubes or crushed ice will help to rapidly cool the bacteria after the heat shock. Step 3. Dispense 0.5 mL of calcium chloride into microcentrifuge tubes for each of the 10 groups and place on ice. Step 4. Dispense 1.5 mL of recovery broth into tubes for each of the 10 groups and keep at room temperature. Make sure to maintain sterile technique while aliquoting the recovery broth. Preparation of the P-fluorogreen plasmid DNA. Step 5. Place the tube of supercoiled P-fluorogreen on ice to thaw. Step 6. Label 10 microcentrifuge tubes P-GFP. Step 7. Before dispensing, tap the tube of P-fluorogreen until all the sample is at the tapered bottom of the tube. Step 8. Using an adjustable volume micropipette, dispense 12 microliters of the plasma DNA to each of the microcentrifuge tubes labeled PGFP. Cap the tubes and place them on ice. You are now ready for students to perform Module 1, Transformation of E. coli with GFP.